Alright, how's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win, as you guys already know that, and this is going to be some more Black Ops 2 news and information. Now today this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a series that I'm doing on Black Ops 2, kind of a series in a series, that is going to be on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But since I didn't have a chance to do it on Monday, I guess we're going to start on Wednesday. Alright, so basically this series is going to be the guns of Black Ops 2. Now what I'm going to be doing is breaking it down into three parts. The first part is going to be the history of the gun. The second part is going to be uh, what it is in Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3. Some of the guns are returning from Modern Warfare 3. And my hopes and what I think it's going to be like in Black Ops 2. Alright, so today the first weapon is the AK-47. Confirmed that it is coming back in Black Ops 2. So for the AK, uh, for you that guys that don't know what the AK-47 is, obviously it's an assault rifle that was developed in the Soviet Union around 1944 through 1947, hence the name AK-47. Uh, it's in service from 1949 until today. It's basically used all around the world. It's a really common assault rifle select fire option uh, And it was produced from 1949 to 1950 basically around the World War II and uh, Vietnam era was when a lot of these guns were produced hence why it is in Black Ops 2 But still used throughout Modern Warfare 2 and in Modern Warfare 3 Okay, so in Black Ops 2 or in Black Ops, I was a really big fan of the AK-47, mainly because it had really good iron sights, which allowed me to use other attachments that it didn't include a red dot or a reflex or an ACOG or a thermal, or that's not even in Black Ops, but anyways, you get the gist. It allowed me to use perks like extended mags or a uh, grenade launcher if I wanted to, or dual mags so I didn't have to use scavenger or uh, sleight of hand, and that was really key. And the fact that it has really good iron sights is really what I'm looking forward to because the Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 AK-47 don't have as great iron sights as I want, and I think their recoil is a bit more jumpy, making it a little tough to use. The last reason why I love the AK-47 so much is the fact that it has such a great high fire rate. Um, mainly, it's just a really quick killing gun. I feel like I can move around with it well, uh, and I just like the overall feel and design of it. Okay, so my expectations in uh, Black Ops 2. Essentially, I want the AK-47 to be an exact clone of the one in Black Ops 2. There's not many leaked pictures of what it looks like. You can only see one guy carrying it in his left hand. Um, I'll try to include that if I don't. Uh, you can always find uh, these articles on like Charlie Intel or Multiplayer First or uh, wherever you want to on the internet, basically. So hopefully it's not the Modern Warfare 3 design. Uh, maybe it, I'm hoping it has maybe a, a selectable attachment or select fire, maybe like a burst or a single fire or anything like that. I don't know why you would want to do that, but maybe just a, uh, a preference of your own. So I'm hoping that in Black Ops 2, obviously it, it's a, a very powerful assault rifle and hopefully it is unlocked a little later. Um, I really liked how in Modern Warfare 2 the AK-47 was the last gun you unlocked even though it, it, the recoil was a bit too much for me and I didn't really enjoy the iron sights a whole lot I really enjoyed that it was the last weapon unlocked it was a really cool last unlocked weapon I wasn't a big fan of the G11 being the last gun unlocked in Black Ops so hopefully they make it pretty special because I remember in Call of Duty 4 it was like the second gun you got and then in Black Ops it was like the third or fourth assault rifle then you got so hopefully they make it kind of a rare commodity. I know that it's a very powerful gun uh, that I'm a really big fan of using. And the multiplayer trailer, um, hopefully, well, when I'm making this, the multiplayer trailer is going to be out in a, a few hours. So hopefully I know some more by then. Uh, but other than that, that's basically what I want to tell you, that obviously the AK-47 is a confirmed gun. Uh, derp to derp, it's not really uh, that too much of big news, but I just wanted to say that hopefully it, it doesn't change too much. Maybe they add some special features to it, and uh, hopefully it can be uh, an enjoyable gun to use in Black Ops 2. Other than that, guys, if you have liked the video, please like, and if you want to subscribe, you can go ahead and do that. Other than that, have a nice day. I'll see you in the next episode, and of course, I will talk to you later.